स्टार्ट है उटिकली Mm. Okay, shall we move? Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, similar to that. I just uh, explained it. So I'll share this uh, PPT after uh, this session. Mm. Mm. So this is the enterprise structure. So basically, if you see the EBS and uh, the fusion, so we have a minor changes in this. Mm. So in EBS we have the business group. So you can have uh, more than one business group. But if you take in the fusion, we cannot have more than uh, one enterprise structure. So the reason being is, so we have this legislative data group where we can utilize the same concept of uh, business group. But when we take this uh, enterprise, we cannot have it. We we can have only one. So this is kind of our. Uh, What do you call? This is always only one. You cannot extend it more than one. And uh, we have division. So division is nothing but uh, the line of business. So basically, we will have like here. I have taken Honeywell as a case to for an understanding. And where Honeywell involves into multiple business, where I have taken only the electronics and the fire equipments. So line of business we call as a division. Then primary ledger. so i have taken only one ledger for the understanding purpose so where electronics will have one ledger and fire equipment will have one ledger and then we have this legal entity the so legal entity where for example we have taken uh, us and singapore similarly fire equipments we have taken uh, us for one and uk as a non and uh, business unit for, for example we have uh, us as two business units so business unit is nothing but our operating unit basically wherever we are making this expense all the revenue generation is happening that we call business unit in ebs we call it operating unit okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so we work on business unit correct right? yeah yeah is correct okay, okay. so then we have this distribution center so again this is a new concept in fusion where distribution center is used for the reporting purpose so distribution center is nothing but where from where the items are being dispatched so it will help an organization to understand how this uh, material transactions are happening whether the profits are occurred in this particular uh, distribution center and all those things so here for example i have taken uh, all i mean both the us and singapore has single distribution center so this we can uh, assume this way so there will be some business case where we will have one distribution center from here all the items will be sent out to the rest of the uh, places so for example we will manufacture in this particular unit maybe we can call it as a manufacturing hub and after the manufacturing all the packages will be done if it is inside us it will be transported if it is outside us for example singapore then the item will be transported to singapore office and then again it will be broken down and sent to the relevant uh, customer addresses so this is what okay. the use of uh, distribution center ah uh, yeah <coughs> one doubt uh, yes. so enterprise is the business uh, business uh, unit in the 11 or 11 and 8 right business group right yeah like the business group and division is new huh? yeah division is also new division is new and primary ledger is same chart of yeah. accounts right yeah yes yeah, same so legal entity came to fourth so business unit is new huh? operating yeah. unit i mean okay. operating unit we are calling as a business unit here Oh, okay, okay. So hmm. distribution center and inventory org. Hmm. So, okay. okay, right. Yeah. Okay, please. Yeah. 
so this is the structure so we we have this uh, chart of accounts so again this will be a new concept here new concept in the sense we have additional labels attached to this ledger i mean the chart of accounts and uh, we have chart of accounts basically at instance level and we have uh, chart of accounts at global level so that we will see it uh, when we move to the system so we have uh, roles so basically we have uh, multi year concept in uh, e business suit so that is where the 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 role of a an user will be restricted based on uh, the responsibility assignment and how it is been attached to the particular menus but when we speak about uh, fusion it is always about the role based access control so when we when we have particular roles assigned to it we can see the attached uh, functionalities and we can use it if we don't have access we cannot use it so here we have uh, different uh, concepts here to understand how this will be done so basically we have uh, job role so job role is nothing but collection of an activity what a particular person will do for example a person might do invoicing and he might do payments and he might do accounting part also so this entire collection we call as an job role and then we have duty role duty role is kind of a break up of the job role so where the invoice creation we call <coughs> as a duty role and what is data role so data role is nothing but our uh, functions all the specifications privileges which we attach to the ledger or the business unit which we will be working on so that we call data role and then we have uh, abstract role abstract role is nothing but attaching the employee to this particular uh, uh, data role and uh, <clears throat> we have custom role so why do we need custom role so basically oracle has given uh, a few uh, defined uh, roles so that is like an gl manager similar to our uh, ebus so where we will have a gl super user we will have gl manager so apart from that we we will want to restrict certain activities of the user so for that what we will do is we will basically restrict the access for the user let's say we we have created 10 business units and we want to restrict it to two so we might need to customize this role so again this will this i will show you when i show it in the system and then we have uh, users so the users can be categorized into two parts so one is implementation user and the other one is employee user so if you mm -hmm. take uh, e business suite so where always user is a user we don't have the concept of implementation user and the employee user so always it is based on the assigned responsibility access we will categorize whether this is an implementation user or this is an employee user but here it is different so to start as an implementation project so where we can track the 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 implementation uh, like the chart wise i'll show it in system but before that uh, to give the heads up implementation user is the one who does the implementation or he is the one who does the setup and give it to the user to do the uat so basically to do that we need uh, certain roles without the roles he will not be able to do anything in the system so we have uh, two roles so one is application implementation consultant so this will allow us to do the setups whatever setups we need to do this will be allowed in this particular role and then we have it security manager so if we want to give privilege to someone else the the uh, the rights to give the roles and all those thing we need this it security manager so these so are the it two is like uh, system administrator right yes correct in yes. the ebis okay so he will yes. uh, he will only access the rights to all the users okay. yes yes correct oh yeah. yeah so this is how the roles and users are classified in fusion application so basically we will have different roles when we attach the roles to the user then the user can access it and also we we have the employee role so if we attach this employee role to the user he can access the other uh, things also like he can do the transaction and uh, he can view the details of the transaction the, and the other part 
and what is the employee user so employee user will be basically created in uh, created in hrms model where this employee will where the employee will be created and he can do the transaction whichever applies on his role limit so how does this start so basically to start with this we have a implementation project so basically after creating this user we have to create our implementation so when we create our implementation project so that is when we define okay this is my project and this is the resource i have and this will be handled by this resource and the set of uh, activities done by other uh, resource so then we have this offerings and features so here offerings is nothing but our modules what we have it in ebs so as i said we we have actually aggregated and we have said that uh, finance is one particular module so similar to that we have offerings so offerings is nothing but modules let's say finance procurement supply chain and project costing project accounting so this we call offering and we have features features is nothing but uh, under invoice whether we are invoicing or we are payment or uh, we, we are doing receipt so this will be categorized as in uh, features so this is what we call offering and features so when we are uh, configuring the system for the first time so we need to make sure that we we, we enable all the required offerings and features so if we are missing certain features after creating the business unit so basically after creating the business unit we have to assign this offerings and uh, features functionalities to the particular business unit where the business unit will be attached to the user so unless we give this option the particular implementation user will not be able to do setup or transaction so th this we need to make sure and then we have uh, implementation project created so once we have created it then we will attach the implementation user to it and uh, once the roles are attached to it then we will assign the offerings and features and from here we will start the initial uh, implementation setups so these are the things which uh, i thought i'll discuss at a high level so maybe we can uh, take the questions and uh, we can answer it so like uh, business group in r12 you are having here la so what yeah, is the right. advantage in fusion we can have more business group in one or same structure no structure is same so business group is no, nothing but a name change so apart from that we don't have any new functionalities when we speak about uh, business group okay but okay like it. hl group reliance group it is the same thing right yes yes so that ledger is the second step you are having one more here right division yeah division division so what division will do so division. Oh, line of business yeah okay. yes correct line of business but uh, we are adding in the chart of accounts as a segment yeah before so in the segment this will not be there you are dividing see division will be more light suppose we are having 20 line of business you are having 20 division huh? yeah yes we can have 20 line of business so, so it is not complicated yeah so basically we are trying to structure it based on our line of business so if if okay. we take the cbis so where the business group will be one so under chart of account we will uh, define the division and uh, we will okay. do the transaction but here if we see we have particular uh, separate div called division yeah. so division only means uh, type of business or other things also you can do yeah we can do for other things also but most of the cases what i have seen is to use for uh, okay. the line of business line of business okay okay yeah. So you are having instance access. Next week we'll show instance, huh? Yeah, yeah. So next, uh, starting from next week, we will uh, see it in instance. They can also access. You are getting from. Uh, you are getting from outside, or you are having from your company testing. No, basically now I couldn't uh, get from my company, so I have to get from uh, outside. Okay. So I'll, I'll communicate on that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Any doubts you have, sir? No, sir. I said. So you, it is a more or like love art tool only, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's only uh, tool and mm, the base. Mm, correct. Tool. Correct, okay. correct, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Arun. Okay. Mm. So you can share the notes and any videos yeah. you have, okay. so yeah. they can go through within that week. Mm. So next week Correct. we'll have Saturday also. Morning you are not free. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll have in weekends first. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, weekends are fine. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Arun, we're yeah. okay. Yeah. Share okay. the in the yeah. WhatsApp you share this PPT. Yeah, mm. sure. I'll share it. Oh, this is the overview, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the overview. So we will see details in uh, instance. Like we, we can even see the oh, that is. Yeah. Okay then. Okay, mm -hmm. that's it, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I'll just give overview to. Okay, I understand. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Good. So you can share this along with yeah. some notes. We can go through and we can. Come yes, sir. Uh, yeah, that will be helpful. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah, sir, thank you. Thank you.